and welcome to another video on Bougie Box Bays. Today I'm talking about the Versace in the Gold Coast, Australia. I went there last week. I will be covering the good, the bad, and yes, there were some ugly moments. Um, so if you want to know all about it and if you should be going, keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to insert some videos in here or over here, either one. So you guys can have some footage as I discuss it. So I went, I stayed two nights last week with my friend. We had a superior room. It doesn't have a balcony, but it had like kind of like one of those little Juliet balconies that you, that you can't open anyway because the windows are locked. But I would say that's a pretty good sized room. It has a huge bathroom as I'll show you guys in a minute. But yeah, it rained when I arrived. It was raining. So as you arrive, it's a pebble stone driveway. Apparently, it's the biggest one in the world outside of the one in Rome. So there you go. It's a pebble stone driveway. It's quite beautiful. The Royals, the, I can't even say it. The Royals Royces, the Rolls Royce. <laughs> so, okay. So when we arrived, it was raining. So I didn't really look at the exterior much on the first day. So you guys will see that. So walk in. The foyer is beautiful. If you are someone that loves Versace and is in love with the Medusa, you're going to love the hotel because every little thing has a Medusa on it. So I walked in, I think because of COVID as well, things are a little different. So I'm giving them a little bit of leeway on that. There was only one person to check in. I will say this, check-in is at 3 p.m. I arrived at 12.15. My room was ready and I could check right on in. Also, I think that's because of COVID because the hotel was only 30% full. So, um, yep, take the elevator up. I was on level four. I walked in my room. Straight away, I felt like I was taken to another place. It was just every, every little detail, every little thing with a Medusa on it. The bed head, the book had a Medusa on it, the chairs. Oh, and then the cabinet. You would open the cups, the, let me just say, the cutlery, the crockery, the glassware, everything Medusa. Then the bathroom with the huge spa tub and then all the little toiletries. Oh, I have them here. So all of these, I'll show you, have, if you guys can see, the little Medusa on there. So this is the bath salts bath and shower gel. We have the shampoo and the conditioner as well. I would say that these are pretty good products, guys. They smell delicious. You know, I'm not someone that would use the shampoo and conditioner, so they would be decorative purposes, but the bath and shower gel and the bath salts, yes, loved it. So the room, I would give the room... Yeah, I'd probably give it a 10 out of 10. The room is fabulous. There's the doors on the bathroom and the shower have Medusa on it. The pressure of the water is fabulous. It is steaming hot if you want it steaming hot. And it's a strong stream, you know? Fabulous. This is where the problems start occurring. Outside of the room. There are a few issues. I think the service isn't on standard for a luxury hotel. So if you are someone that loves a luxury experience, which you expect when you go into a five-star luxury hotel, you're not going to get it here. Now, I'm pretty sure the one in Dubai would be better. I have never been there, but I would like to one day. I just imagine Dubai, everything's really great service in Dubai. This was not. Like, we ordered food at the pool and a drink. The pool, oh, it's beautiful and amazing. It's just, it's bigger than an Olympic-sized swimming pool. It has like a little beach that they've created there. There are cabanas all around. There are deck chairs. So it's beautiful. The service, though, is terrible. 
we ordered food and drinks. You have to go and order it and come back. Well, I just feel like, especially because it wasn't that full, the pool cabana boys should have been coming to us to get our orders. You wait half an hour. So then you go to check on your food and drink just to find out that um, your order didn't get put through. So then you're left waiting for another 15 minutes. Then your food arrives and it's cold. So not so great. Breakfast, on the other hand, was included in our package that we got. I would say if you're going to stay, definitely get breakfast included package. Breakfast was pretty good. I won't complain. And just, again, the whole Versace experience, the plates and, and, the, and the cutlery and, oh, the little teacups, everything is just amazing. Okay, so you get slippers and robes in your room. It's not this robe. You know, it's, it's, it's not as fluffy, but it is, you know, a nice robe. Just not this one. Your slippers, um, I do have them. I wouldn't sort of picture. So, yeah, they're okay. They're great for walking around. You can take them home. Apparently, they're $25 if you um, would like to buy a pair. But, yeah, dinner, to be honest, the dinner menu in the main kind of dining room wasn't that great. It was pretty much the same as room service menu. So like I didn't go, I just prefer to do room service because I like the feeling of being my room and food arriving to me. So yeah. And then they do have another, but it's like $600 for the menu. It's like five, six courses and you can get 10 courses. So I didn't do that. Um, so I can't really say, but I imagine it'd be quite nice. The drinks at the lobby bar, beautiful. I got a Medusa cocktail. It was amazing. It's a whiskey-based cocktail. It was fabulous. I'll be inserting pictures and stuff here so you guys can see. Had a great cheese board. Prices, I would say, so cocktails were between $22 to $30 a cocktail. So, of course, it's going to be on the pricey side. All right, that's expected. And this is in Australian dollars, just so you guys know. So probably about 18 to 25 US, roughly. Yeah. This is the other issue I had. So we got a Bath Bliss package that you can get where they come. They draw you a spa and you can get all these different things. There's different. There's like a lychee one, a strawberry one, a marshmallow one, a full package one. Whatever you want, they can kind of do it for you. So we just got the basic one, which came with like strawberries and a fondue, chocolate fondue. We're thinking this is going to be fun. It came, they drew it up. They put tea lights everywhere. It's really pretty. Um, we went to turn on our jets. Great. Then we realized that the jets are making all the bubbles because it's our bubble bath and the water's going out. So we go to turn the jets off and the jets won't go off. So now our bath has broken. I step out of the bath, I run to the phone to go call concierge to let them know that someone needs to come and deal with this emergency because the water is spilling out of the bath. The lady's like, okay, we're gonna send someone up. I'm waiting 10 minutes, no one has come. We now have had to pull the plug to get water out of the bathtub before everything's flowing in the bathroom. I call her back. She had a bit of an attitude about the situation, which I personally didn't appreciate since I'm trying to let them know there's a problem with their facility and I need help. Finally, the maintenance man arrives. He says that water has gone into it and that's why it stopped working. He's fixed it. I think that's a little bit ridiculous since it's a bathtub. Of course, water is going to be around. I think it wasn't sealed correctly. That's how that happened. So now it's kind of ruined our experience because I've been in and out of this bathtub. We've had to empty out the water. So that's another issue. On my checkout, um, I did let them know and they gave us like 50% off. Personally, I feel like they should just said that should have just been for free. No one apologized when it happened, not the lady on the phone, not even when um, housekeeping came to clean up the floor. They didn't say sorry about the situation. I feel like most hotels would have apologized and like sent up a bottle of champagne or something 
for the situation or the inconvenience that it caused you. Um, none of that happened. So yeah, I felt like that wasn't a luxury experience. But all in all, I would say I'm glad I went. I, I'm glad I got to see everything Versace because it was just beautiful. The corridors are filled with pictures of past collections. Um, the chandelier in the lobby. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. The marble everywhere. Like everything around you is super luxury. I do feel like the hotel probably needs a bit of an upgrade. Um, but the service, that is the main problem I had with the hotel is that the service wasn't five star and the service wasn't a luxury experience. But if you are someone that loves Versace memorabilia and just wants to be surrounded by that all the time, then I would say definitely go experience it. Um, one to two days is definitely all you need. I definitely wouldn't stay there any longer. But if you are someone that really, really wants that luxury experience, you might have to think twice. Thanks, guys. Bye.